We've all been there, right? In the grocery store. Oh, I'll just buy this meat. And there it is. And all we have to do is buy it. We don't have to think about what it took to make that chicken in, in that nice packaging. But the reality of the way that it came about, it's incredibly unsustainable. And that's one of the biggest problems facing humanity right now. But we figured out a way to solve it. The whole idea is that that chicken in itself has an unlimited source of itself and there is a way where you can take just a handful of cells and keep growing them essentially infinitely. For those very first cells, it was important to us how we got the cells, not just that we got the cells. We came up with the idea to use one feather from the single best chicken that we could find. We picked out a really nice looking chicken that had a really nice clean white feathers, and a healthy comb and waddle. Caleb happened to have the infrastructure to create a new chicken coop. So we put our special little chicken in there. My first reaction to this project was like, what are these people doing? That's kind of weird. But in all honesty, people are gonna eat meat and one feather from one of my chickens could be the catalyst that feeds the world. First thing we need to do is we need to identify a cell that we are going to use as the basic starter material. And then what we need to do is find a food for it to grow in. So we have to identify the right set of nutrients that will cause the cells to multiply, but not just multiply, but do so quickly and into high densities. Those nutrients are gonna be obtained from plants. Animals in nature eat plants, right? And I don't think that there's another company that has this extensive knowledge base and experience with plants and their protein components that will also be able to test this in actually growing cells. It's a perfect extension to apply the data that we get from those discoveries and using them in ways that we've never seen used before in the world. One of the biggest points of comparison between what we're doing and the old way of doing things is food safety. And when you make that comparison, the difference is staggering. To eat real, actual meat without causing all this harm to the planet and to animals, that's what clean meat is. The chicken was handed off to me, and for this first prototype, I said to myself, I'm gonna make the best chicken nuggets ever. Wake up, wake up. I wanna lift you up. I wanna dress you up. Let's be friends. It was an out-of-body experience to sit there and and eat a chicken, but have the chicken that you're eating running around in front of you. You don't imagine doing something like that. But then you have this realization that we've figured out how life really works and now we don't need to cause death in order to create food. And we're gonna have to do it if we wanna continue living on this planet.